my next workshop is gonna have some windows in it it's gonna have some windows it has to have windows in it because as cool as this place is and don't get me wrong this place is pretty cool i've built it up over the last few years and i've got it exactly how i want it except i'd love either a skylight or some windows i mean i can see out but i need some natural light that's how we're starting out this morning i was just outside and it's a beautiful day it's so it's uh what is today today is sunday july 28th i think sunday morning and we've had the most amazing not mid south deep south humid i mean it's been fantastic it's been like late september would be in maryland or pennsylvania or one of the northern states you know illinois um wow i mean it's just been phenomenal outside and it makes it very difficult like if i could put this this shop outside this whole past week i'd have done it it's uh i haven't i haven't gone fishing i need to go fishing that's probably going to happen monday or tuesday if i can sneak out but in the meantime we've got some cool stuff to show you guys i'm not going to take up too much of your time i've got four river sea, sea whopper ploppers that are going to a client i've got this yellow frog that um is a popper that's going to a client i've got a couple of pieces here um, that are just fun pieces. This was an extra blank from an order So I just kind of did some cool stuff with that and then we're gonna start off with this atlas only because like I've really fallen in love with this particular bait this blank um, And I just brought these off the clear coat rack So I just wanted to give you guys A couple of ideas for what I mean, there's obviously you can do pumpkin seeds you can do a bunch of different things with these but I'm really digging on this pumpkin how the color is faded together so basically um, I did a black uh, I shot the whole thing black and then did my scaling which is just your basic run-of-the-mill you can get the get the fabric it's almost like Thule fabric I got it at Walmart it comes on a bolt a three yard bolt and it costs about four dollars and it's just the average size scale but i really like it get this all the way up under the light and we've got a couple of different shades of blue and you're saying hey you said that you shot it black underneath i did so basically if i want the scales to look a little bit more 3d i'm going to shoot black first and then i'm going to drop the scaling and clip the scaling on and then shoot the entire thing white so you're gonna see you can see if you look close enough you can see the black underneath but you can also see white where I've pulled the scales off which is kind of what you want you want a little bit more depth to it and I really really have enjoyed doing stuff like this it's just it's fun it's a couple of extra steps but the white really kind of contrasts off of the black underneath of it so it gives you a little bit more scale depth if that's what you if that's the style that you're looking for and then uh, my blend colors oddly enough there's no green on this that's just my blue and yellow on the cheeks that have given me that little green accent you can kind of see actually I think I shot gold on it on the cheeks and that turned the green yellow and Yell, any kind of yellow and, and blue is going to give you a greenish hue. So we've got some fluorescent orange and fluorescent red on the belly. I shot silver over the entire thing and I shot a little light mist of pearlescent gold over the entire thing. So that's why it's got such a shine to it. And then uh, I have, I think these were living eyes, the earth color. And then uh, I, I placed them in and shot red so and that's just very low pressure you can also like if you have eyes on a card you can shoot the entire thing the entire card whatever color you want and then place them in so there you go lots of time on that one sorry um, just I just really like the way it turned out 
something a little different. The mesh is not different, but the color pattern is. Good for stained water. This is absolutely a stained water bait. And I would probably target walleye with something like this. Love the eyes on them. These are those glass eyes. There's links, uh, the first thing in the description that you guys are seeing now, because that's the most frequently asked question I've been getting, is where I get all the eyes. Uh, there is a listing in the description of every place that I've ever gotten eyes. The only thing that I can't find anymore are those beautiful pearl type eyes that are uh, these. But everything else, everything else that I have um, between all of that and what's in here, I've got like two places that I keep eyes because I've got so many, um, but I use them. Not like they don't get used. That's the only one that I can't find. So, but yeah, these are these are glass eyes. They came off of Amazon. I think you can also get them at AliExpress. So there you go. Yellow popper. This is going back east and out the door today. You can see that that's completely clear. No goop or buildup in any of the holes. There you go. Easy peasy lemon squeezy, yellow frog. Now we got these four. So let's get these out of the way. Oh no, there's one more. This is a dinger flat side rattling. Kind of in a trout pattern, but would also be a pretty decent minnow imitation as well. On to the ploppers. This is that green winter sunfish. This is uh, my version of the green, sunny, just a regular green sunfish. This is a pattern that you would normally see on my wake baits if you look at the website. Um, I got four of these ploppers for, from a client. And uh, I appreciate if you guys are going to send me stuff that you guys already have or if you're ordering them, that's no problem at all. Um, preferably if you guys can send the more clear ones or the powder ones are the easiest to put a different pattern on. But nonetheless, and those telltale river to sea eyes. And this is on the 90. So this is that 110. And then he sent me a 90 and he sent me two 75s. I don't know why, you know, I always gripe about camera focus. Um, but it can be a bit of a pain at times. Let's go here first. You guys have seen it. I won't spend a whole bunch of time on it. Um, this is the wildfire tiger pattern. Got that bright fluorescent orange on the tail. And then on the inner tail, I just did a black. We want that bright target from behind. And then you've got the flow orange up into a flow yellow up into the fluorescent green on the top of the bait. This was also shot black underneath and you can see some of the some of the black veins especially prominent on the bottom in that river to sea. And these are I coat these twice so it takes a little bit longer the process. Um, eventually, yes, I'm probably going to pull the trigger on UV stuff. I just, I don't have the space nor the budget at this time to make that happen. Um, but it is in my, in my foreground. I'm hoping to maybe by the end of the year or probably next year, because it's just so much faster of a process, especially if you have humidity or you've got like three weeks of rain. Like, I mean, every June, like May and June is just saturated in Arkansas with rain. So my dry time on a lot of this stuff takes twice, if not three times as long on these racks as it should. 
And that's one of the reasons that I get so backed up is that I've got a bunch of stuff that's just drying and waiting and drying and waiting. So yeah, UV, UV is a super fast, like 10 minutes and you're good. 10 to 20 minutes, depending on how your, your setup is. So it's coming, it's coming folks. But anyways, so this is a double coat and uh, because it's top water and top water, it's sort of like one of the more vicious attacks. These things get beat up pretty good if you've got the fish biting hard on them. So that's that wildfire tiger. And then he asked for a tadpole. Um, tadpoles are super cool. So I gave him, and this is a northeastern client, like way, way, way northeast, like more north than east, but northeast, coastal, I would say, coastal state. But he also mentioned that he really liked the green and orange, the fluorescent patterns as well. Like that was some of his favorite, and I think that he's had some luck with that. Um, I have a little bit of creative insight in the stuff that I do. But I just, uh, th these 75s are shaped like tadpoles anyways. They're fatter bodied, river to sea. Um, and I, I generally, I like these. I have a couple on, I keep a couple of these in stock pretty much at all times because these are some of my favorite patterns to shoot. And it's one of my most requested um, sizes now that it's out for customers. These are the real big ones. So, and, and I'm doing that on purpose just so... The way I do these is that I dip this side, I hang it nose down with a drip wire coming out of the nose, uh, I brush the top part. So the top part is completely brushed twice, and this almost, because the tail is the way it is, you can see this opaque paint has kind of given way to some shadows underneath, which is really cool. It, it kind of gives it a really unique depth, which is one of the reasons I decided to do um, some white frog dots, but yeah, he asked for a tadpole, and uh, I decided to kind of trick it out a little bit because he just said that he liked the the pattern. Anyways, I'm rambling. It is time for you guys to get back to whatever it is you're doing. Thanks for spending a few minutes on the channel with me. I really appreciate each and every one of you. Um, you mean the world to me, and I'm so happy that I get so much feedback from you guys. There's going to be some spray sessions coming out probably mid next week. Um, kind of cycling through orders i might i have a run of something that i need to get done so i might do a run for you guys i haven't done a run since the i think i did the excalibur lipless and rayburn red was the last run of baits that i did on camera so you guys have a fantastic start of your week this is sunday right yeah so we're starting the week out with a bang you guys enjoy i hope you are safe and dry or maybe not dry i hope maybe if you go water skiing have fun. Go crazy. Go catch some fish, y'all. I'll see you on the water. Happy casting.